So last week in part one of Reptilis Breeding Facility here in northern France, I introduced you guys to some of the coolest colubrids and other reptiles that Reptilis is working with here in this facility. Well again, this facility is so huge and so amazing that this is part two of a two-part series where I'm going to take you guys in on an exclusive tour of Reptilis Breeding Facility here in France. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you guys to some of the friendliest monitor lizards, the coolest boas, the coolest pythons in one of the most incredible reptile facilities I've ever had the opportunity to take you guys on a tour of here in Europe. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. So, in this room, I see you have this huge water tank, and this is obviously for, like, amphibians or... Oh, all right, yeah, okay, all right, we're, mo we're moving into this room then. <laughs> all right. That's the room number three. Yeah. We have some interesting snacks. Oh. That Oops. is more than interesting. Look at that. So now, this is obviously a jungle carpet python. Is this what you guys would consider a highlighter gene? A highlighter do you know, gene? Do you know the highlighter gene? No. Okay, the highlighter gene is um, the yellows are just the brightest yellow. And this looks like that highlighter gene, or what we're calling a highlighter gene in the United States. The original uh, strain comes from the US, but more than 15 years ago. And uh, he just uh, bred them in order to keep uh, the more yellow ones. And at some point, he managed to have some animals that have almost the same amount of yellow and black, and he decided to call them the 50-50. The 50-50, okay. Yeah. So even in shed, I mean, look at that, he is just starting to shed, but even in shed, look at how just absolutely contrasty and how bright those yellows are, how dark those blacks are. All right, I, we gotta come back in a couple of minutes and see if uh, he's done shedding, because I really wanna see him after he sheds. Oh. Wow, he's like aqua, aqua marine. I can't speak English or French all of a sudden. Yeah. Look at that. That's a Persinus. That's aqua marine. Varanus Persinus are green tree monitors, yeah. and usually they are green, like as green as that plant almost. Yeah, but, but this one is special because yeah. he's aqua marine. Look at the blue. That's Sarong locality. So this is the Sarong locality. And if that's so wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Another, did you guys hear it? No? no, uh, no, no. All right, moving on. So this one's called Freddy. Freddy. Look at this beauty. Okay, that is one gorgeous monitor. And look at this enclosure you've got for him. You've got a hammock in there, plenty of places for him to hide. You've got a mister. Now you've got a mister. Do you got a missus in there as well? Ha 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 ha, sorry. Yeah, terrible. Just terrible. All right, and then we finally get to the boas. This is gorgeous. We have a very, oh, very nice yeah. quality of boa. So this was bred here in Europe, in G Germany, I think yeah, you said? in Germany, yes, for my friend Tim. It's a, a jungle uh, VPI Sanglo. VPI. VPI, VPI Sanglo. Sorry. Sorry, Tracy. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is a jungle VPI sun glow. Wow. Just look at that pattern. And so you're working with colubrids, obviously. We've seen some amazing ones. You're working with boas. And uh, are you working with ball pythons in here? Yes, of course. So let's see. I don't know. It's me. So I'd like to see a pied. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I just had to see... A European pied, which they look exactly like American, Canadian, and uh, other pieds around the world. So this is just a normal pied. Is this the only pied you have? Um, right now, I think so. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk about that. Let's talk, Dave. <laughs> let's talk. This is a Burgundy. Burgundy. Yeah, Burgundy, Bourgogne. In French, Bourgogne. So in French, it's Bourgogne. Bourgogne. In English, it's Burgundy. Yeah. So all we did was add the D at the end of your word. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, the Burgundy is also known as the Monarch in the United States. Wow, that's a good looking snake. So look at this little dude right here. This is a white-lipped python. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, real quick, we're gonna cut into this tour because this guy just shed completely. Look at that. That is nicer than any highlighter I've seen. That is a gorgeous snake. Just wanted to show them off with a fresh coat of paint. So you're looking at a future breeder. Yeah. 
Oh, the boys are going to be all over this gorgeous <laughs> female. Gorgeous. All right. Let's continue this tour. So all the cool reptiles that we've seen so far at this facility have all been on the ground floor. But up here, there's a whole nother level to this place. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. Whoa, this just goes on and on and on. And look at that big bruiser. Whoa, that is a big retic. And this is obviously a tiger. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this sweetheart. This is just a gentle giant. Yeah. It's very cool. But very giant. inquisitive. D does he have a name? She have a name? Ka. It's Ka. 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 Okay, from the Jungle Book. Yeah. Yeah. All right, come here, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Look at this big, beautiful snake. What a honey of a snake. How old is the snake? Uh, six or seven years. Six or seven years. Wow. And is this, have you bred this one? No, no. I have only one because now in Europe and for France, it's difficult to for sell because they have a special authorization. And uh, just uh, I keep one for for formation. Formation? Training. Mm. For education. Education. Education, education. gotcha. Education, yeah. Wow. Just look at the girth on this snake. <laughs> yeah, you okay? You okay there? <laughs> I'm okay. You okay? Bye. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna leave that. <laughs> I gained weight lately. That's right. That's right. Sir, you seem to have something in your pocket. But look at the girth on this snake, man. Pinky mouse every week. A pinky mouse every week. Yeah, that's what I would suggest. Only for one or two days. Wow. <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. She just wants to explore. She's so curious. There we go. Wow, that snake is what? 37, 38. 38 kilos? Yeah. yeah. Really? I would think it would be much heavier than that. No, no. no. Uh, it's just, it keeps on moving and yeah. moving and the balance is not always the same. So it's, it's hard to manage on your own. Right. It's not that heavy, but complicated. Wow. So 37 kilograms, that's roughly about 80 pounds. That's a heavy snake. Yeah. Yeah, and that snake loves you. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you doing okay, bud? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I love good, it. good. I love it. I love yeah. it. <laughs> All right, so you guys are working with everything. And right in here, look at that little blue tongue. Hi, how you doing? You, you want to come out and say hi? He's like, no, no. He's like, I don't want to come out and say hi. I'm just going to stare. Oh, look at this. So here we have a hypo. And now are you you're breeding these as well, correct? Yeah. And did you produce this one? No, uh, I buy these. Buy it. Is this one from Europe? Yeah. Yeah. To Sweden. Um, Sweden. 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 Yeah. Well, that's big. That's why he's so light because he's from Sweden. <laughs> All right, and then look at this enclosure. You've got one enclosure, two enclosure, three enclosure, three enclosure. but it's all one big enclosure for this guy. Oh, hi, buddy. So this is a Panoptes. Look at this big guy. How old is this one? Nine or ten years. Nine or ten years old. Wow. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. And funny thing is, we have a video on our channel, quite old, about yeah. this lizard, where um, a practitioner of uh, Shiatsu came here and try the shiatsu techniques of uh, calming and zen yeah sure and, uh, on bruno little did we know that shiatsu is working on horse but it works on lizards because bruno is quite active yeah but when she was guessing because she never worked with a lizard before the shiatsu points and he started to fall asleep really and he was yeah. completely still on the table sleeping and she was as surprised as us because she's like i've never worked with a lizard before but Shiatsu is working on uh, reptiles. I've never heard that before. That is, wow. Yeah. That is just wow. Lucky lizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in here, <laughs> look at this. So here's another one of Kevin's monitors. Does this one have a name? 10K. 10K? <laughs> is that how much he cost? Yes. 10K? <laughs> oh, that's very funny. 
I think that if more people around the world named their reptiles how much they cost, <laughs> there would be a very high divorce rate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a beautiful, beautiful monitor. Look at the lavender on this one. Yep, Kevin produces some very, very good monitor lizards. Wow, beautiful. All right, so in this enclosure is an enclosure full of jealousy for me. We cannot have these in the United States. They can have them in Canada, but we can't have these in the United States. Look at this, a Fiji Island iguana. And that is just a beautiful one. So yeah, they can have them in France. They can have them in Canada. They can have them pretty much everywhere, except my house. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Gorgeous. And then if we go down here, so here we have a couple of females in this enclosure. Look at these, and these are captive bred. So jealous, so very jealous. If you ask Adam Wickens about these, he will let you know that he gets one and I don't. <laughs> you don't even need to ask him, he'll just tell you that. And here is yet another Fiji Island iguana. These are um, just making me so jealous. But look at the blue bands on this one. These are the most beautiful iguanas in the world. That's it, I'm moving to France, everybody. First, I need to learn to speak French. But, I mean, that's so close to English, isn't it, French? Yeah, 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 it's good. I'll manage. All right, we have got the best for last. Look at this room. Look at that Sailfern dragon. I'm moving in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving to France, everybody. Look at this. Come on. So you can actually walk inside these enclosures with the Sailfins. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that a very cool? Watch me hit my head and get a concussion, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, this is just amazing. I can't even stand up in here, but to be in an enclosure with all these sailfin dragons, this is amazing. And look at this. They like have no fear that I'm standing right inside their enclosure. Look at this. Hi, girl. Come here. Look at this. And the boy is up here. A little defensive. Oh, well, see you, buddy. But this girl, this girl loves me. Wow. But look at this, we've got this big pond for him in here, all these places to climb. And a giant like me could fit in these enclosures. <laughs> this is the way to have sailfin dragons. Yeah. All right, so I see you have a couple of different, well, actually maybe three or four different types of lights in here. What are these different types of lights? So you've got uh, obviously heating bulbs that's uh, shouting like a uh, heat yep. only. You have heat and UV over there, uh, the brightest one. You have as well just um, a neon of UV and some uh, visible light using LED because we saw that using natural and uh, powerful light increases appetite, behavior, coloration. Absolutely. So that's why it's really bright in there because it makes a huge difference on the behavior of the animals. All right, so in this one, we've got two big girls. And now, how many breeding pairs do you have here? Uh, now, in Microfus, we have two males and one, two, three adult female. Okay, and then, Oh, well, all this, it just started raining on us. But look at that wall back there. It's a total wall of all these plants. We've got the misters going. We've got a big pool down there for them. And look at these guys just chilling out up there. They are loving life here. Man, this is definitely the best way to set up sailfin dragons. This is so incredibly impressive. This is a different um, locality of Sulawesi, I, I think because they are different look and I like very this white and, and black uh, microfus. That's very different look. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, you have an amazing facility here with some amazing animals. I've never seen a facility like this anywhere in the world. Thank you yeah. so much. You... That, that's only me, that's my staff. Too. Absolutely, absolutely. This guy over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that guy over the there. <laughs> wow, absolutely amazing. You are a lucky man. Yeah, I'm a lucky man. And a hard working guy, too. Yes. Right. Yeah.
So I just want to take a real quick moment to thank my Patreon supporters. For as little as $3 a month, you can get Rattle On swag, early access to my videos, and so much more. And you can help support reptile education on this channel. That link is in the description below. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, I would really appreciate it. And guys, there's lots more reptile adventures coming up. So until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.